Hello everyone, or welcome back to another video for me. Please that's my name. And today in that video, I want to go through my main season and how is the matchup looking there, who's winning, who's losing. And since there's also so much drama going on and people like blaming the map and like telling, I don't know, weird things about our season here. I just wanted to give you my perspective and showing you also some stats, uh, which we have recorded. So yeah, let's jump into the video. All right, guys, as I already said in the intro, I want to go through here today, uh, in this video and giving you my opinion, my perspective from the war, uh, what could have our opponent did different and, um, also showing you some stats and so, yeah, so, um, to consider about overall the video, I wanted to mention that the pass opened on, uh, March 14, as you can see here. And so it was basically, I think 2330 UTC, it, uh, always opening for us. So it was basically almost like half an hour before f uh, March 15. Uh, let me also show you the current map here. So that's how the current map is looking like. Um, we have here the three main fighting sports right now, which already got covered in other videos, which is this bridge here. We're having the main choke point where most of the fighting were happening. Most of the pushing were happening is this position here in the mountain. And then we have this position here at this buyer. So, um, to go through again, um, and to really talk about who won now the season and why did TFS after three and a half weeks are still not able to push us through the choke points. So first of all, what happened is as we, as you all remembered, uh, with a level three pass opens, and we both were pushing, right? Um, we came in here from this side, TFS and EXG were coming from this side. Here's now the thing. And one of the big major mistakes, which in my opinion, TFS and EXG did, and that is not pushing uh, past this uh, bridge. And let me explain to you why. With them not pushing us past this bridge, we got basically this level four pass because they didn't push to this pass here at all. Like EX, EXXL, um, you see here, have built all this land here. They took the uh, bottom pass and we took the north pass. And that is basically one of the main reasons why we were able to get faster into this defensive position. TFS and EXG didn't push uh, past the bridge and didn't even try to grab this level four pass. That is one of the major mistakes they did. Since they basically choose, in my opinion, the worst starting zone they could have shoes. Uh, since from this, pa uh, from this position here, you are slower in bidding. We need to say that like, if you are bidding from the upper side here, you are way faster. I think around two flags, you are faster. If you, um, having a full bidding flag over time, you are around two flags faster because you can skip the spires. What we did basically, like if you remember in the live streams, we were bidding here one, um, one tower and then we were skipping the spire by bidding here. That saved us basically around 50 minutes from, from bidding uh, or from, from occupying the spire. And the same we did at, uh, where is it? At this spire, the exact same thing, which basically saved us in total two flags of bidding. And uh, that gave us the upper hand on this position. So that would have not even be possible if they would have been coming from this path. That's why I say like TFS actually should have tried to block us from taking this path and not giving us the opportunity to just free bit basically here down to that uh, choke point. If that would have not be, uh, if they would have taken the path away from us and um, what would have happened? Like we would have basically uh, meet around this position, probably, right? Um, 
maybe we would have go from the bottom here. Like the whole situation would have been completely different. But fact is that they didn't push through that bridge here. They just built up a defensive line for whatever reason. Like they, they just built it to the pass, grab the Hydra and that's it. More they didn't did in that zone while we were grabbing that Hydra and also taking this pad, which gave us again the opportunity to build faster to that choke point. That was one of the major mistakes they did. The other major mistake they did was basically overall just choosing this side. They could have like choose overall like Nuvoda, for example. When we could have fought in uh, zone two, and then we would have uh, when they could have also blocked us here and take this again. They could have also I don't know choose uh, culture, you know, and f uh, fight us here in that zone. Like there are so many different opportunities for them to fight us, but they basically didn't do it. Like they didn't fight us at all until this. Uh, Butchie. Like, they did some long marching here against us, but that's it. Like, they didn't even try to block us from the level 4 pack or, like, try to fight us in any other regions full. I mean, they are, as an overall team, they are around 10 billion more power. And, uh, like, they didn't do anything. Like, they didn't try to fight us at all before that zone, you know? Not in zone 2, not in zone 3. They just choose the whole opposite of the map. And that's it, you know. Like, that was the other major mistake. I mean, if they are telling about themselves so much, like, no one can face us 1v1. We're gonna kill everyone in a 1v1 situation. EIS is just hiding behind choke points and all that stuff. Why did they not choose just overall either the same zone where we're starting and fight us in zone 1 and make us research? Or why, they, uh, why did they not choose a zone 1 where they fight us in zone 2, in zone 3, and in zone 4 then? Like, they didn't do at all of it. Like, hello? Why are you choosing the worst position on this map? Like, it is for sure the worst position on this map. Because you are overall bidding faster. And I mean, we see this, this shock point is just too strong. So that was, in my opinion, the uh, second major mistake. Um, and now about all these um, trash talking and about these uh, rumors and stuff like um, what is going on since the, the entire season, I don't know. Um, and also there's now the, uh, some, some questioning about how you win the season. Like, I don't really understand that. You win the season, whoever holds the dragon. That is since the beginning of the game so whoever holds the dragon is winning the season because what makes you winning the season is it really by pushing the enemy out of the last zone or is it really the one who's holding the dragon because the dragon gives you the it's first of all the only behemoth from the same type like the dragon is only one time on map and then second of all it's giving you better rewards like do we need to really talk about how you win a season right now? Like, come on, guys. Seriously? Like, the magma is not winning you the season or also not if you push out the enemy. Like, that, that don't give you the better rewards from the season. That, that is not what you're fighting for, in my opinion. You're fighting for the dragon because they're giving you overall better rewards. And that is also the the... the season major point in every season you're fighting for the dragon because it's giving you better rewards it's showing you who winning against the other people if I, since, since let it be like just by defensive what we did this season or by if someone pushing the enemy out of this dragon like i just want to remember all of you that in the last season from eis we were in a position where we like TFS, we're forced to push our enemy off from choke points. And EIS did that. TFS is basically in the same situation what EIS was last season. 
we were for, uh, fighting against two top teams, VVV and SK1. Like, and, and, and when TFS is crying about the map and like, but we were able to be fast at the shock point. Yes, and why are you crying? Better like analyze the map better. Like, come on, stop crying about the map and do more or like do different stuff. Like, don't try to uh, save your leadership from poor leadership decisions. Last season, we also didn't cry about the map and that SK1 and VVV were holding um, shock points where we were not able for like a whole week to uh, to push them off. SK1 and VVV were holding us for a whole week at this choke point, but our constant activity last season just made us push them off these choke points. And now that TFS can win by just true force power, I just see them crying not uh, all days and blaming the map and trying to cover the poor leadership decisions, which I kind find are hilarious. Because you could just admit that your leadership did wrong decisions. They underweighted uh, us. Simple as it is. You know, like, I don't really understand why people trying to cover the poor leadership decisions. Um, sure, they, I don't want to deny that they are, uh, uh, they are for sure a strong enemy. Like, don't get me wrong. They are for sure a really strong enemy. And I respect them for fighting and all these resource healing. I respect them because I wouldn't I wouldn't be keeping up with the amount of resource healing they did. Um, like they are two fighters and they're trying to push us through the shock point. I remember one uh, night where they were able to get the BXS for down to 50% and it took them like 2 billion power or something. Like that is two fighting that the people keep coming out and fight and push and push and push, you know? But now that you got an even opponent and you can't push them out, sure, defensive choke points are for sure uh, really, really strong in that game. I don't doubt that, you know, and the map have also some troubles. I don't doubt that. But overall, that the leadership just decided to not get into a better position is what makes me f wondering overall. Because there are some possibilities TFS and EXG could have did better. They could have just did something differently and the whole season would have been completely different. Maybe they would have been the one who holds Novel Dragon. But just blaming the map and not understanding that you could have did something wrong and, and not admitting that BXS and EIS basically winning the season right now because we're holding the dragon is kind of hilarious and kind of also like it makes me just wondering. So if we're having now a look on the stats, um, let me let me pull up the, the image which I have uh, downloaded. So on this image here, we can see an update on the stats, right? Where we see the total power before pass and where you can clear clearly, uh, uh, see, can see clearly that we were around 10 billion more power and um, then also the merits here on the right side before the pass and the current merits based on the updates. Here you can see update as of uh, March 20th, 20, uh, 2330 UTC, six days since pass opened. And you can clearly see here that um, the merits in terms we uh, in the six days we were trading better. Like, kind of even, to be honest, as you can see, right? Like, it was pretty, really, really even. But you, the power, they lost more, right? Like, on this, after six days. And that's uh, that we're going since that. They were trading more power, obviously, since we are just def uh, re defending the choke point and not doing that much pushes like they do. And, uh, but you, the overall force power for them is 10 billion more. You know, the overall force power from them, they could do more with that, but they aren't really able to do more with that. So, and now if you're checking the current stats in-game, let's have a look on the power and merits. So we're seeing that TFS is um, still around 2 billion down, considered the amount of resource healing they did, and 
I just want to give you an example for uh, Jason Guy, the leader, right? Um, the last time when I checked the unit set, I think it was around 3.7, 3.8 million. And now he is almost 1 million in debt just from the last um, uh, talent, uh, not talent, sorry, uh, policy, right? Where we have these uh, policy where you get 5% uh, more damage, I think it was, for 1% deaths of your round of troops. You can check that fast. So they're taking basically deaths from Curse Ward, 2%. They resource you. And all of this, with all of these things, what they're doing, they aren't able to push EIS and BXF out. Sure, again, the choke point helping us. I don't doubt that. But you also need to consider that for defending, you need to be basically on 924-7. The attacker side have the advantage of when they can choose to attack. Like, if we are not pushing and just defending, we need to be on them basically 24-7. While TFS uh, can be sleeping, they can do real-life stuff, you know, and then they can just shoot, I don't know, at 20 UTC, they push. While we need to consider, oh, if, if we have no information, they could push us any time. That is the downside of the defense position. So we need to admit that EIS and BXS, since the past four open, almost uh, four weeks now, we are defending most of the time. So we are basically most of the time online and we need to be most of the time online because if not, then what happened, we're losing our structure. What all, like what happened? Like we got, uh, not sorry, what, uh, what almost have happened, you know, with one day, again, but one day, TFS and EXG was pushing, or only TFS, if I remember correctly, and got the VXS4 down to 50% in the main choke point, in the uh, position where a lot of people are crying about, but this is just too strong here to hold. Like this fourth, they got down to 50%. So, and that's it. More you don't need to talk about. Like, it is insane fighting since the past four open. I really love the fighting. I got tons of merit by fighting TFS in EXG. The leadership just did poor decisions by uh, the, the analyzing the map and strate uh, uh, making the strategy around that. And that's what basically gave us the upper hand in terms of defending. That gave us this position which we have in here right now. More we don't need to say. And since we're holding the dragon, since it's opened, we're winning right now the season. Is they, if they are not able to push us off in the last uh, days of the season, when we're winning the season. TFS is losing, and EIS is the last undefeated team since, uh, uh, since five seasons, since the official launch of COD. More you don't need to know. More is, like, that's it. There's nothing more to talk about. Literally, guys, like, Come on, be realistic. Stop being delusional and stop trying to defend TFS side when they did poor leadership decision. And what basically um, kind of, uh, if, if they if they losing, gave them the losing. The whole season could have been completely different if they would have just, what I already did multiple times saying in this video, if they just have did the uh, map analyzing better and basically not choosing the worst starting position that's it let me know in the comments what you think about that guys um since there's a lot of drama i expect also in the comments to be some drama going on um but i ask everyone to stay respected and um thinking about what i said in this video because i know in the war situation like drama can or trash talking can get very fast into personal and we can for sure discuss in the comments. We can you can also trash talk. I don't, I don't care as long as it's not getting personal. Um, that's what I only hope that we can um, discuss in the comments what you uh, uh, what you think about. Uh, and yeah, maybe you taking my words and analyzing again the whole war. What happened since the past three basically open or actually the entire season? You know, maybe you analyzing again if you're coming from TSF could have been not really like that way what I just said in this video and also to everyone else who just have watched the season maybe you and you were on the side from TSS over time and like blaming the map over time maybe you also consider to rethink about the uh, the point what I just said and maybe 
the whole you you see then the point what I just said about TFS could have did something better in this season uh, about uh, strategy and choosing other um, starting position. So yeah, thanks everyone for listening to, uh, for this video. Hope you're all gonna stay healthy uh, and have a good start of the next day or have a good rest of the current day. And we're gonna see us soon on the next one.